response other than I can give you the devil's advocate response uh, are uh, because you're presuming we've made a decision one way or the other and as I have been trying to explain both in the other room and for the last eight months or so we haven't made a decision and the Olympics can be terrific as they were in Vancouver and they can be not so terrific as we've had in some other experiences. The fact is, as among our fans, as we pull them on a regular basis, again, it's a mixed bag as to whether or not they think we should go there because in the final analysis, you can ask the same question about a team that was in first place going into the Olympic break and then loses a couple of players or comes back with 10 of its players banked up and doesn't make the playoffs. And those are part of the issues that clubs are worried about. Senator? You've made your uh, dissatisfaction for long-term contracts pretty clear through the years. Do you, you gain any satisfaction in the struggles that the global chef and his camp are having in the working plan? No satisfaction whatsoever. The fact of the matter is uh, that we believe uh, that that contract clearly was a circumvention. And whether or not people agree with that decision, the independent arbitrator who heard the case agreed that it was a circumvention. I'd rather that there never be circumventions. And, we, and if you know, based on the history, we don't go out of our way to disapprove contracts. That's not what we typically try to do. And in fact, you know, there was some level of criticism and lawyerly debate over whether or not, because we had let some other contracts go, goes a, a loose word because we did deserve our rights and we are conducting investigations. But the fact is, when we try to be flexible, it gets thrown up against us. But the final analysis, that contract was found to be a circumvention, and I don't take any satisfaction in that. On your left. Uh, Gary, um, often uh, the league cites the uh, 14 or 16 day break uh, for the Olympics as a potential problem. Uh, earlier today, Igor Kupman, who used to work uh, with Western clubs, Phoenix, and effect, pointed out that Western clubs always take long road trips, a couple of weeks, uh, and it's not a factor in their performance. How do you respond to that? Assertion. Well, I'm not sure that I'm getting it in the full context. The fact is, they're still playing. And, you see, the, the, point, the point that you're missing is some of our NHL clubs send 9 or 10 players, and some of our clubs, NHL clubs, send 1 or 2 players, and when they come back, the teams are not in the same condition as when they left. Some are better rested than others. 